So I'm going to show you guys how to make a sword fighting zone where, you know, it's a zone where you go in and you have a sword and you fight people. And then once you get out of it, you don't have a sword anymore. So let's get right into it. So I'm going to do this. Let me just delete this, honestly, and just show you guys from scratch. So first you need a part, make a part, which is going to be your zone. I'm just going to make a part right here. Get rid of the shadow, make it red. Transparency 0.5 and turn can collide to off so the player can't touch it and also make sure it's anchored there we go um i'm just also going to grab the sword I'm just, i just searched up sword in the toolbox just grab the first one you see or any one any of the sword you will like i'm just going to put this inside of upcated storage do that oops let me properly close this okay and another thing we're going to use is a module called zone plus which is this right here zone plus it's on the th ver third version or version 3.2 but grab this from the dev form and that's what this is what we're going to use so i'm going to go ahead and add this from my file into the replica replicated storage and next we're just going to add a script inside of the part so let me do that there we go here's our script so what i'm going to do is just reference the replicated storage equals Replicated storage by doing local rr equals game get service replicated storage and I'm going to reference the module which is the zone inside of replicated storage so local zone equals require rr replicated storage dot zone and now I'm going to name our zone this is going to be the fight fi fight zone equals zone zone that new and this is where we're going to reference the part so workspace that part basically this is you know this part right here it's referencing that and so what we're going to do next is just from the uh documentation here or dev form i'm just going to copy the zone that's already here just make it nice and easy i'm just going to also change the name to the zone we've named it to which is fight zone there we go Okay, so now I'm going to do is clone the sword to the player's backpack. So local sword equals replicated storage that classic sword. I'm just going to clone it and the sword is going to get parented to the player that backpack. So yeah, the player's backpack. There we go. And so if you were to play this, um, it will work. So let me show you guys right here. So if I walk in, I get a sword. But if I walk out, I still have the sword. And every time I go back in, I keep getting the sword again and again. So now we're going to fix that by adding some conditions. So it checks if the player already have the sword and if the player is out of sight of the zone. So I'm just going to go above that a few lines and do if not player that backpack find first, ch first, first child classic sword and not player that uh, character find first child classic sword okay so this is going to what this is going to do is it's going to check the backpack if the player has a sword and it's going to check the character where if the player has a sword equipped like they have they're holding a sword basically so um now at the exit zone, this is where we're going to check if the player has a sword and is leaving the zone. So I will do for underscore tool in pairs. I'm going to do player that backpack get children. This is going to just grab like a list of what's inside of the player's backpack. And if the and if the objects or children or items inside of the backpack is a tool just like this tool and tool dot name and it is named classic sword then we're going to destroy it like that I'm just gonna copy this again right below and I'm gonna do character instead and just get rid of it as well so there it is there is the full script uh, from the top we have we're referencing the replicated storage and we're referencing the zone module inside of replicated storage and we're going to uh, make a zone called fight zone referencing the part that we want which is this right here in workspace and once the player enters the zone it's going to check if they are you have a check it's going to check if 
they don't already have a sword uh, in their backpack or a sword they're already equipping, equipped with. And then once uh, they leave the zone, it's going to check every item in their backpack. If they have a tool, and it's called classic sword, and it's going to get rid of it. Same for the player's character, where if they're holding a sword, that's where it'll go. And it's going to check that as well. So if I walk in here, I get a sword. There we go. And I can fight anyone that's in here. If I leave, the sword's going to go away. Just like that. And there you go. That's the full script. That's the full fight zone. That's all you really need. Just three things. The the part, the script, the module. I mean, actually, the part, the sword, and the module. And script, I guess. So that's four things, actually. But yeah. Hope you guys enjoy this uh, quick and easy uh, tutorial.